guys, it's me, Zell, and we're here with the last episode of the Tales of the Jedi and the last episode of Ahsoka's story. So it'll be episode six, Resolve. Um, it's looking based on the outfit and based on how the last episode ended, this will probably be after, post her leaving the Jedi. So curious what they're trying to tell in the story that we haven't already seen um, in this little um, blurb episode thing. So, anyways, let's get to it. Watch episode six of Tales of the Jedi Resolve. Oh, wow. Wow, Padme's funeral. This is just the animated version. Oh, is that Mothma before she had white hair? And of course, Bale. Organa. Ah, ha ha. Because of course she loved and her friend was Padme. Why risk it? She was my friend. Yeah. If you need anything, you can contact me with this. Ooh, we know how helpful that is. No. I'm tired of fighting. Take Hear it. That. Oh. What can I do for you, officer? Forgive me. It's easy to get lost with all that has happened. Still, we have a duty, don't we? An obligation to uphold. When we're able. <gasps> oh, yeah, <right>. duh. <laughs> Maxi. I love farming in Star Wars. I don't know what it is about it. Because it's still like with all the digital and the war and all that and you know the futurists and the droids, they still need the basic farming practices. You're piling them up too high. Again. I know what I'm doing. Are they siblings? Finish up. Wait. Is this from the Ahsoka book? Like that? I'm hungry. I totally read this. Like, why is this feeling familiar? Huh. What are the odds of that? She's like, nope, I was just pointing. Ashla, come sit with us. Ashla, it totally is the book. Not citizens like us, only rebels who threaten the Empire. That guy's no voice worries. sounds familiar. Is that Ezra's voice Only actor? Loyal. Don't worry. It's our secret. I'll meet you near the field. At first light. She's like, great. Do not be a spoiler, bro. May the force be with you. He's a brat. I can't remember the book that well, but... Wait, is that their village? Oh. Right. Oh! A Jedi was here. He's so it, cool looking. I find no one. I promise you, they'll be back. I turned her in. It's not lying. I told you they'd be back. So you did. Here is your reward. No! Uh. Bro. So Katano. Wait, how does he all of a sudden realize who she is? Was that a, a droid or what? I'm so sorry. I know. More will come. You're going to have to leave. How? Yeah, that guy's gotta be feel pretty bad. Literally killed his old village. Hey. I'm beginning to think you lost this. Things have only gotten worse. Ah, she looks sure so beautiful there. Ready to get back into the fight. Mm. 
Nice. That was good. It was I it was a lot of fun having read the Ahsoka book. It's been a while now, so it's not strongly in my memory, but I remember her being called Asla and and having uh her being in a farming village and I couldn't remember the conflict that happened here with a brother and sister and or if that is like kind of a side story. I feel like it was in there, but regardless, really cool to see her be like, well, now's as good a time as any to get back into the fight and people are gonna be affected one way or the other because it's everywhere and there's gonna be pain and suffering. So might as well help to go against it. So yeah, a fun episode. Overall, for Tales of the Jedi, I really liked it. I was really happy with it. I think they did exactly as much as they needed to do to tell the story. It wasn't too long, as much as I would love to see more. It was visually and visually stunning, and the music and the dialogue was really fun. It was um, just enough to tell the story they wanted to tell. It's kind of interesting just giving like this background context. Um, I find it kind of curious and, and maybe they had a point of deciding to do three of these being Ahsoka focused. I'm sure there's going to be some sort of tie in. They just wanted to have fill in the blanks for the Ahsoka show coming in the future. That's what I'm assuming, I'm guessing. Because um, we get so much Ahsoka, we get her in Clone Wars, we get her in Rebels, we get her in live action, you know, shows. So, and we're going to get her in her very own as well. I guess they're just filling in the bits that we didn't get to see from like the main movies, you know? I gotta say, I thoroughly, if not more so, enjoyed the Dooku stuff. Mostly for me, being somebody, you know, we got to see him in those moments, you know, in the prequels before he was. And we got to see him in the Clone Wars, but I never felt really interested in him. I know there's a lot of people who are like, oh, yeah, I really love Dooku. He's a cool character. I'm just like, I just don't get it. Nothing to do with Christopher Lee. He's awesome. Great, talented actor. Um, the character just seemed very like bland to me um you know same similar i like to compare him and mace windu because they have very kind of like stoic stern very um you know serious personalities on the surface and you don't really know what's deeper that kind of set them up in that way and their beliefs and there are similarities in the sense that like stickler similar like mace is really obviously we saw to see that balance in the second episode like stickler for rules whereas dooku was not Cause he, but he took things in his own control to get what he thought was right, to do what he thought was right. And unfortunately it took the, a dark turn. Um, and Mace Windu, you know, steered away from the force in a different way as many of the Jedi Order and the Council did. They got so focused on the politics, politics and the rules and the, the Council and obviously the Senate, all that in the war, instead of focusing on the force, the essence of what the Jedi and what connects them connects all of us and what brings them their source of strength and power, right? And that is the force. And I think Qui-Gon was that one kind of factor that was always really fixated on following the force and hearing other, you know, within reason, the ears of people who were wise on the council or whatnot, but he still went with what his gut in the moment feelings was. So anyways, that was a sidetrack. I really enjoy the Dooku episodes because I liked getting that deeper context about him. It made me like his character more. Like even like from the first episode as <laughs> the 15 minutes of that, just the way you saw how much clearly he was seeing the suffering of these people. He went in with their attention, but he was willing to keep hearing them out regardless of the rules or their objective whatever they were told by the council, he's like, we need to get to the bottom of this. Same thing with the death of the Jedi in the second episode with Mace Windu. We need to get to the bottom of this. Like, there's more going on here. I'm not just going to leave this hanging because there's clearly something that needs to be dealt with. And he found out in the end what happened, and then he sympathized and understand people will take drastic measures sometimes when they feel like there's injustice being done. And he's very much somebody says, I want justice, but at what cost? And that cost was essentially his self, his own guidance with the Force. He steered off from the Jedi. He went towards the direction of going towards the darkest, deepest Sith Lord we've seen in, you know, modern times. And it caused him to do things that was counter to himself, but he, that's 
But he was doing that in order to achieve the goal. We saw that in the end episode, he took the life of somebody that was fighting for him, fighting for believing in the goodness still in him for the Jedi. And he took the life of her, of somebody that was going to expose him in his goal. Cause he, he had given up, sacrificed so much to accomplish this, what he thought was going to be in the end, best for the people as a whole which we know he was obviously sorely mistaken, in my opinion. Obviously, some people have their own opinions about the Empire, but um, clearly it was not in the best of terms. So I appreciated seeing that background context with Dooku, seeing his where his heart and his goals were, and that sometimes villains come out. Villains are not black and white, that there's depth to them. And we got to see what led him on that path. And it was clearly thing after thing of corruption, corruption in the Republic, in the Senate, that the Jedi were so strongly following and listening to. And he's like, why? And no one was in, everyone was just saying back off. And he's like, okay, I'll back off. I'll back off real hard so much that I'm going to go and counter you. So kudos to Tales of Jedi. Again, beautiful art. Music, Kevin Kleiner did it again. Voice acting, of course, bring back their, their core folks. Of course, the, the sound effects and all of that just all together. And the, again, the, the very succinct story that they're trying to get across and tell, which I loved it. So I would love to see more of this. I would love to see this. I would love to see one for Mace Windu. I'd love to see one for Plo Koon, just because, you know, he's my man. Just, it would be so fun to see that. It'd be, you know, we only got to see that a bit with Yaddle, um, but she's such an interesting character just in that small bit. That's all I personally know of her. I know there's books and stuff about her, but, um, and perhaps comics. Um, but it would be very interesting to see that. Qui-Gon, I think, also could be worthy of seeing more in depth about him. We saw just a bit of him in the first, first episode, and we got to see him in some flashbacks, ghost, and some other stuff, but yeah. Overall, I was happy with it. I hope you guys were too. And if you liked this episode, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And certainly don't forget to subscribe if you're here and you made it this far. Or if you want to make sure to know when the next videos for my future content comes out, hit that subscribe button. Make sure notifications on. It'll be the best way to know I don't follow a consistent schedule. So it'll surprise you. Hey, new video live. Great. Check it out. So guys, thanks for being here, being great. May the force be with you because that's a Star Wars thing to say and I believe in it. So I'll see you on the next one.